Hello guys, this is Mr. Roland here with another weekly wellbeing webinar. And today we're gonna to talk a little bit about fitness testing. So um, some of you already know, but I've signed up to a very big endurance race um, to do in August. Um, and I'm about to start my training plan for that endurance race. The endurance race is a triathlon and that's called an Ironman. If you wanna search up um, exactly what an Ironman is, give it a Google and see the kind of distances that I need to do. I'm gonna be swimming, cycling and running for a very, very, very long time. So I'm starting a training plan. As part of that training plan, I need to work out my starting point of my fitness. So I'm about to do some fitness testing, okay? Fitness testing you might have seen before at school in the form of something maybe like a bleep test, or you maybe have done a one rep max test or something along those lines. So it's really, really good information for me to be able to gather before I start my, plan, uh, my training plan. It gives me a starting point, so I know where my fitness is. And it also helps me to inform what I need to work on, okay? It can also help uh, my coach to decide if I'm working at the right levels and if maybe my training needs to become harder or if they need to make my training a little bit easier, if maybe we're, we're working a bit too hard, I might be at risk of injury, okay? So I'm gonna be um, doing a fitness test on my bike in a little bit um, and I'm gonna be testing my power on my bike. And it's called an FTP test which is a functional threshold power test. So I'm basically gonna be testing how much power I can put through the bike, um, therefore telling me when I should be training, what kind of power I should be working at, okay? So fitness testing is gonna give me some data that I can work on in order to move forward with my training plan. So I'll show you how I'm gonna do that in a minute, and then I'll even try and record a little bit of footage of me in a lot of pain working my absolute hardest to see just how fit I am at the moment and how much power I have on the bike as well. So I'm gonna be using my bike to do this particular fitness test and my bike is currently hooked up to this smart turbo trainer which tracks how much power I'm putting back through the pedals and can also make it harder and easier for me. And that is directly then linked to the telly here and that is linked to a game called Zwift. Now on this game called Zwift, we're currently watching someone else ride at the moment and it tells us exactly what kind of power they're putting through the pedals, okay? And then it can also tell us loads of other stuff and there's loads of other people taking part from all around the world and you can race and do all sorts of stuff as well on there, okay? Now on the fitness test, what it's gonna ask me to do is work up from really easy amount of power all the way up to really high and I have to hold my power for one minute at each level and I'm gonna see how many levels I can get up. Okay guys, I'm uh, just starting my warm up for the ride. So I'm now sat on my bike um, and I'm getting ready to go. Um, I've got to do about a 20 minute warm up to get my legs ready and set up to be working at that kind of intensity for that long. So I need to make sure I'm really nice and warmed up. I've done a lot of stretches as well because this fitness test is not going to be easy on my body. I'm drinking lots of water. And then I'm also gonna take a carbohydrate gel in a minute as well to make sure I've got a really nice supply of carbohydrates for my working muscles. As we can see at the minute in my warm up, I'm working at about 125 watts. I'm hoping that when I do the test, I should make it up to about, oh, I don't know, I hope to get to near 300 watts. And I'm just starting to warm up now. And this is my warm up, I'm in five minute, and then I've got to start spending some time in some higher zones to get my legs nice and warmed up and ready. Here we go. Legs are spinning. So I'm about to get going. I'm a little bit through my warm up now. So I'm going to take my isotonic gel. Uh, within this, there is uh, 87 calories. Um, which should get me through a bit of a chunk. 22 grams of carbs, so it's a lot of carbs, um, and a lot of calories that I can just use as a source of energy when I go into this fitness test. So, still in my warm up, but I can get this in quite nice and easy. They're nice and easy access to take when you're working out, you just swallow it, easy. Right then, the warm up is now done. I'm about to start the actual test. So I need to spend five minutes, just over 100 watts. And I get a really tiny break of about one minute. And from there, I have to spend one minute at all of these zones. And I have to see how high I can climb that ramp. 
I'm aiming to beat my current, which is 239. I'm hoping to get up to around 300 if I can. So that's my aim for this. So here we go. Okay, that's start, I've got five minutes to get myself ready. Get some good music on my ears. seconds left to the start. Okay, here we go. First minute, 100 watts. Nice and easy. Really easy 100 watts now. First stage of the test. Stage one done. Now going up to 120 watts for one minute. Still feeling okay at the moment. There's two 140 watts. There's three. 160 watts now. Stage four, 180 watts. Four, we're on 200 watts now. Two hundred and twenty watts, five. Two forty. Two sixty. Two eighty. Three hundred. Three twenty. Three forty. Three sixty.
FTP up to 277. <sighs> Maybe could have had a little bit more. Maybe. Could have finished the 380. Ooh. Ooh. Just cooling down now. Finished about three minutes ago. I hit 277 watts, which is a great target now, a power target that I can aim for. When I'm training, I can use that as my threshold. So I know that's the kind of hardest I can get to. So I need to make sure I try to push that number up over the coming days, weeks, months, till my event in August. So I'm as strong on the bike as I possibly can be. Doing loads of miles. Can let my coach know, and he can amend my training. I'll retest every couple of months. And then I know if I'm not doing as well as I should be, if that number's not going up. So that's fitness testing. That's what I'm using it for. Hope you found it valuable in some way. If not, I hope you've enjoyed laughing at me and a lot of pain. See you later.